Did YouTube just break YouTube? Maybe. Let me explain. YouTube just announced in their most recent blog post that they are getting rid of video dislikes. Let's listen in. The update from YouTube is that the dislike button is staying but the dislike counts will now be private. I don't know how you feel about this, but let me know in the comments below. As far as I see it, the internet is going wild right now. Some YouTubers are concluding that the reason why they're doing this is to protect large brands, media companies, and government. Some YouTubers have gone as far as YouTube just trying to protect themselves from being the most disliked video on YouTube. That's right. The most disliked video on YouTube is YouTube's 2018 Rewind. With the most disliked likes to likes ratio topping 19 million compared to 3 million likes. They even went as far as canceling the program. Here's what YouTube is saying. Apparently groups of viewers are targeting a video's dislike button to drive up the count, turning it into something like a, a, a game with a visible scoreboard. And it's usually just because they don't like the creator or what they stand for. It's not surprising to see that they went forth with this change. Because at the beginning of the year, they mentioned that they were experimenting with getting rid of the dislike button. And according to their research, they concluded that this was the best decision for users and the platform. And as you heard by now, they want to protect small and new creators. And I would think that the larger portion of YouTube is made up of small and new creators. There are millions millions of creators on YouTube. And according to Influencer Marketing Hub, only 22,000 YouTube creators have more than 1 million subscribers. Now imagine how much larger the pool gets when we look at YouTubers that have 100,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, and 1,000 subscribers. And YouTube is not the first to step forward and make these changes. We've seen Instagram experiment with hiding the like account and rolling out the feature as soon as they concluded that this was the best decision. Their research concluded that this would not only improve the mental health of creators, but would encourage them to also keep posting content. And even Twitter is testing out dislikes because they want to see what the data can tell them, which tweets or comments are more relevant. Dislikes are still going to be a valuable part of the YouTube recommendation algorithm. Viewers are still going to be able to dislike videos and creators like you and me can still see likes and dislikes in our YouTube studio by going to analytics and directly to the engagement tab. The only thing is that viewers are not going to be able to see how many dislikes we have. And the argument that some are making is that they would still like to see how many dislikes a video has so that they can determine whether a video is worth watching or not. But the real reason why YouTube is making the change, according to their research, is because some small creators are being targeted by mobs of users who either don't like them or they don't like what they're about. And if that's really the case, I like what YouTube is doing. Because if there's one thing that I believe, no one should be bullied for being different, having a different opinion opinion and wanting to explore their talents. And since YouTube is getting rid of the dislike button, let's see how many dislikes we can get on this video. And if you want to learn more about YouTube, you can watch this video here.